Hi there. My name's Asha and I'm a member of the Data School's 40th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you the power of the Marks card part 1. This will help you to understand the basics of Tableau. Let's jump right into Tableau and get started. I've opened up a new Tableau workbook here and I'm going to go ahead and connect to the Sample Superstore inbuilt dataset. So the first thing I want to show you is how the marks card can affect a bar chart. I'm going to get segment, drag that into rows, and I'm going to get profit and drag that into columns. I'll set the view to entire view so we can see what that's doing. And first thing, I'll drag sum of profit into color. Now, the darkest color, the segment with the darkest color is showing which segment has the highest profit. I can also drag that into size. And similarly, we can see that the segment that has the highest profit now has the largest size. I can also drag this into label. And you'll notice that labels have now appeared at the end of the chart. And if I only want to see this in the tooltip, I can go ahead, stick it in there, and the profit will show up in the tooltip. I'm going to add a new sheet now and show you what happens when we play around with the marks card, but this time using a line chart. I'll grab, let's use profit again and stick that into rows. Um, and I'll take my order date. I'll right click, drag that in. Now that gives you an option of what you wanted to aggregate by. I'll go with month. If I take a discrete measure, notice discrete measures are blue and stick that into color. We can see now the view is broken up into three different lines and each of those are colored in differently. I can do, I can also drag that into detail and notice we still have three lines, but they're not colored in differently now. Let's take that away and look what happens when we bring in a continuous measure instead. I can take profit that's going to automatically aggregate to a sum and stick that into color. Um, now you'll notice that Tableau is automatically given us this diverging palette so we can clearly distinguish the peaks and the troughs. I can drag that into size now and um, you'll notice that the months that have the highest profits have the largest size. I can also put that into label. Uh, that is quite messy. Maybe if I were to click into label, click onto min and max, that's a lot cleaner. So now we can clearly see the values of the min and max months.